show you guys something that I, I, I located and I, I knew I had this thing, I just hadn't used it in many years. And you might think, well, that looks kind of cool. That looks like a video eight uh, player. I mean, really? I mean, look at the look at this guy. It's got a cord type lever on it here. What exactly is this thing? Well, I'll show you. This thing is a unique piece that was relatively expensive and uh, was actually supplied by Sony. It was in the early days. So this goes back to, um, I, I would think, about 1986. And this was actually a fairly expensive piece of equipment. And it basically did one thing. Actually, it did three things. Let me explain. When Sony first launched the, the 8mm video format, they actually tried to make a go of the rental market where camcorders would be rented out and they actually gave away or provided it at a, a special price to Sony dealers a little pack, it looked like a little suitcase uh, shop that I worked at, uh, we had some and it had the little CCD, I think it was called a CCD M8 and it basically looked like a book, like a little square block, like a brick and uh, I don't have one of those cameras, I wish I did uh, have one we had them at the shop but I think they got trashed we used to rent them out and we rented out tons of these things during Expo 86 when it was in Vancouver and we used to rent these things out for like $50 a day. Now, that might seem like a lot of money, but you've got to remember that back in the early days, uh, camcorders were $2,000 and up. So $30 or $50 a day to rent a, a camcorder pack was uh, considered to be a, a bargain. It was a tiny little camcorder that was not much bigger than a tape. Actually, it was about the size of this, this little box that you see here, but it, it had a lens on it, and you, you put your hand on it, and you put the tape in it. And anyway, um, the, people would rent them out, and the idea was when they came back to the store, the store would take the tape from them. The, the camera had no ability to, to rewind or playback. It was just a record-only device. And when they came back to the store, they'd come back with their tape. The store would take the tape and they'd put it in their playback machine and they'd copy it for them over to, uh, over to a VHS or a Betamax tape and hand them their tape. And then once they were done, they would erase the tape and reuse it because 8mm tapes were damn expensive back then. A 2-hour tape was $30, $40, $50, or somewhere in there. They were very expensive. The metal evaporated tapes were even more ridiculous. Um, this device here is a, a tape winder and a tape eraser, and that's all it does. It just, it'll just rewind, fast forward, and erase tapes. has a little switch on the front. This is called a BEV-8, a bulk eraser for video 8. Video cassette winder eraser. So that's what this is. This is an erase lever. And uh, how it works is, well, you open up your, your cassette housing, you load a tape, you push rewind, and it will rewind the tape. And it will rewind the tape without putting wear and tear on the camera. So I scored this unit um, from the shop that I worked at after the rental bit ended. I think we had I think we had three or four of these packs that we would rent out. And they were they were booked, like they were out every day and then when the tapes came back at night, we'd copy the tapes for the clients and give them their tapes and put the tapes in this little unit here and of course I'm not erasing this, I'm just I'm just rewinding. We'd rewind the tape uh, on this, play it through on the on the player, copy it onto a VHS. Then once it was copied and we verified the tape was recorded, we'd put the tape back into here, fast forward it to the end, then hit the erase lever and hit rewind, and it would rewind the tape and erase it at the same time. And it does so by putting a magnet up, or directly up against the tape. So I'll show you how this thing kind of works. I'm not going to take it apart in this video. Maybe we'll do that on a future one because I just hauled this thing out because I, I just got a load of about uh, 20 tapes that I have to... Uh, copy over to DVD and every single one of them is not rewound so I don't want to 
rewind them all on my on my camera because that's going to you know, run up a lot of wear and tear. So I dug this thing out. I have another one of these units that's for mini DV, but it just rewinds. But we'll just take this lid off here just so you guys can see because it's not just it doesn't just uh, it doesn't just rewind the tape. It actually pulls the tape out. There's a little couple little guides down here. If you see what happens if I if I put the uh, if I put it into uh, uh, load, loaded, uh, loaded mode, and I just cover up the little sensor here, I actually have to activate a little switch. You'll see, you see, it actually pulls the tape out slightly. And in the back here, if you look down here, this is the erase magnet down here. So you, if you hit the erase button, this actually swings out, it turns 90 degrees, so that it makes contact with, with the tape when the tape is pulled out. But how these things work is, when you load a tape, this is so the tape doesn't get damaged. And if you look down on the top here, when I press the rewind button, you'll see that the tape is actually pulled out. Now, if I had put it in a race, that that erase head would have would have uh, pushed up against the tape and actually pre pressed the tape up to these two guides here to make good physical contact. But as you can see, um, it's a really useful device. This will rewind a 120 minute tape in you know, a couple minutes without putting wear and tear. I just thought you guys might like to see this because I think this is probably a relatively rare piece. Something that you, uh, you don't see every day. There were others that came out that did the same or did a similar job. But I don't think any of them did it with, with uh, like the Sony. None of them did it with the style of the Sony and this is just brilliant it pulls the tape out so that the tape is actually away from the shell so that there's no chance of the tape binding or damaging a lot of the other ones didn't they just you know, unlocked the tape opened up the lid and turned on a motor and let it fly, let it fly and um, you know um, my mini DV one for example which it just only does one thing it just rewinds it doesn't do anything else it's uh, made by Maxell See that? It even ejects it automatically. So you just load the tape, press rewind, it uh, rewinds the tape, and ejects it. Cool, huh? We'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.